Yellowstone National Park, 1988. The driest summer in the park's 120 year history. The firestorm begins with a lightning strike. And by the time it's extinguished, it claims an area of wilderness larger than the state of Rhode Island. Firefighters and military personnel from around the country rally to save the park. But three months later, the blaze is still consuming 10 miles of forest every day. One of the biggest threats caused by the fire is to the park's two most treasured monuments, the Old Faithful Geyser and the nearby Old Faithful Inn. I guess my biggest fear was that the Old Faithful Inn would go. There is no way anybody could have stopped those fires. No way. The shifting winds make the blaze even more dangerous and unpredictable. We were very concerned with the firestorm blowing in and knowing that we still had employees in that village and in that area. Fearing for the safety of park visitors, officials call for an emergency evacuation. I know it surprised people how quickly it came in. NASA satellites provide information on the path of the fire, tracking its movement and intensity. Down below, crews brace the 100-year-old wooden structure for impact. On the front lines, smoke jumpers drop into the mouth of the inferno. Emergency fire lines are cut using bulldozers. They also use the latest in firefighting technology, an explosive cable that's stretched around the complex. Three, two, one. These explosions create firebreaks they hope will divert the path of the flames. Back at the old faithful inn, the storm roars into sight. An improvised sprinkler system of garden hoses, sprinkler heads, and farm equipment is built to protect the grounds surrounding the inn. Luckily, provisions had already been made for the building itself. The Old Faithful Inn actually has a sprinkler system on the outside that kept the roof wet, so we didn't have to worry about embers falling. There were sprinkler systems going, and water was coming off the roof of the inn, but it was the real fear that the inn would, would go up in flames. With only minutes to spare, crews race for cover as the sky turns from gray to red and finally to black. Time to go, go. Right now. Get in here. All of a sudden, the flames came over the ridge and it was like somebody had opened the doors um, of an oven. It was just just huge blast of heat just hit all of us in the face. Those flames were at least 300 feet in the air. We've never seen anything like it. Well, we got the picture. A cameraman covering the incident shows a rare view from inside the firestorm. This is the firestorm. This is down. What you're going to get? Oh. But as quickly as it attacks, the firestorm marches on. Alone in the charred embers and twisted timber stands the old faithful inn. I think it was actually a miracle that the inn didn't go. And that huge firestorm going over a, an old wood building that's 80 years old. It was a miracle. Two days later, the worst disaster in national park history is over. That night and early the next morning, Mother Nature finally took over and we got a little snow and the fires laid down. Now, a decade later, the barren wasteland left in the wake of this horrible disaster has become home to a new generation of wilderness and wildlife. Due 
to the heroic efforts of more than 25,000 firefighters, the beauty of Yellowstone will be treasured for generations of visitors to come. They did a terrific job in saving buildings, and certainly the Old Faithful Inn is standing today because of the efforts of those people out there on that day when the firestorm blew in across the village.